suppose I can't refuse such a great soldier, can I? Splendid. Now, I must control my men for this. But remember, the first sign of anything strange, you all know what to do. All orders will be carried out, sir. I'm counting on you, Jim. I just hope it's a mistake about that pirate ship. <coughs> well, I don't think Dr. Lassie will let any harm come to us. If those pirates rushed in this minute, I'd fight him to the finish. That's what a soldier of the crown would do. Isn't he brave? All the same, I wish none of this were true. <coughs> Listen, what is it? Whistling, the way Dr. Lassie said. There. Nonsense, I don't hear anything. It must just be the wind coming in from the cove. It wasn't the wind. Check his room. I'll be a one-winged albatross for let him steal the treasure. 
from us is a deck. A chest, a sea chest. Well, it's empty. All empty. No map and no money. Not even a copper ring for me to wear. Then scatter it and look for the chart. Turn everything upside down. We want that map. Captain, 
I won't ever say the word treasure. Sorry. <laughs> if any of the crew asks why you're making the voyage, tell them it's for your help, or you may never wake up in the morning. I'll definitely remember. When did you say your friends were arriving? Today. Do you think we can sail tonight, Captain? That's possible, if I can find more sailors to make up a crew. I'm staying at the Sprite Glass Inn. We only used to be seafaring man, too. Perhaps he can help us find some sailors. By all means, ask for them. If you have any luck, send a lot to me on board the Spaniel. I shall. Until later. Good day, Captain. This is also very thrilling, but I must remember, never say the word. Oh, boy! A sailor alive. Not to mention the open sky and sea. A voyage. That's what me pawns be aching for. You might be aching a lot more before the night's over. Red Dog, where have you been? Looking at the Hispanola. It'd be a strong ship, all right. Aye. Remember this, Swamp John. Me and Calico Annie got all dressed up and sweet talking old ham, Auntie Nan, and staying at your inn when you got into town. Now it's up to you to see if you can know that ship headed for Treasure Island. Leave that to me. I'm your leader now, ain't I? And I know me duty. All right, but our fingers are itching for treasure. I'll have it in due time. Now away you see. We'll be tipping you the black spot if we don't come through. Captain Fury. Yeah! yeah. Good evening, Marzo. Good afternoon, Mr. Silver. It's quite early this morning. Important business, I suspect. Secret business and fucked. Ah, oh, you don't say. I can't say. So don't ask me what the secret is. I'm not allowed to tell. I might lose my voice if I do. But I wouldn't dream of asking. I would like to know if your accommodations at my inn be satisfactory. Oh, quite satisfactory. But I noticed a lot of one. Unusual looking sir, coming into your establishment. Unusual they are. But a friendly bunch wouldn't cut anybody's throat, unless they had to. Really? I trust other noise doesn't bother you. Oh, I've gotten used to it. I also run in you know. Is that a fact? One of my customers was quite... Can not take this? He sang loudly long whenever he was full of rum, which is practically all the time. Dr. Bones was his name. Would you know him? Bones? Bones? Can't say I can play salt sea dog. Actually, he's the reason why I came to Bristol Tire Ship. And you think you'll be pushing off if I might ask? Captain Smollett said we could sail tonight. That is, if we find more sailors to make up a crew. Well, now, I can help you on that score, madam. I was just about to ask you if you could. Indeed, I can. And not only be good sailors, but fighters as well. Never know when you might run into pirates, you know. Yes, pirates! It's to them orny buccaneers that are the crippling of me leg. Oh dear, I don't know what I would do if I came face to face with a pirate. Have no fear. Me and my crew will take good care of you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Silver. I'll have the lot on board in no time. But I would ask one favor in exchange for the task. What would that be? That I come along on the voyage. I've been aching for some fresh all there. Well, that seems fair enough. Welcome aboard, Mr. Silver. It's going to be quite an adventure. I can guarantee that. Doctor, I'm so glad to see you. Here, as soon as we got your message. Everything is in the auto. We have a wonderful ship. And thanks to Mr. Silver, we now have a complete crew. Just glad to make your appointments. I'll be one of the crew going along on the voyage. And when do we sail it, then? Tonight. That is, if we tell the captain we have to get the rest of the crew he needs. Why don't you know, Nori? You're looking after the baggage. Oh. We shouldn't waste a moment telling the captain. He has a lot to do before we set sail. Um, I can send your friends along to the ship if you like. That'd be fine, Mr. Silver. Isn't he a nice man? Come along, Doctor. I'm so anxious to show you the Hispanic. Then by all means, lead the way. I do hope none of us get seasick on my great big ocean. You always look at every us out there. Oh. That's my name. Can you be Jim and Laurie? That's my 
any secrets while we run here. <laughs> so I see. I think the three of us is going to get along just fine. Why is that? We're going to be mates aboard the Hispaniola. That trumps right you and young Miss here. Oh, do you mean that great big ship out by the dock? The very one. Miss Snow and the doctor are waiting there for you all. Let's hurry, Jim. I can talk to you wait. Sailing, John. No, 
don't act the fool. I know you've got the map to Finn's treasure. I'm afraid you made a great mistake, Mr. Silver. We are here on an expedition. We know nothing of a treasure. That's the way you're going to act. We'll have to try our own ways. Tie him up! We'll make him walk the plank one by one until one of them tells us where the map is. I'll get the map. I know where it is. Jim! Let Jim make up his own mind. Or kill us anyway. After they with what they want. I won't. I'm not. I, I won't harm any of your friends. Upon my word, Dad. The word of a pirate? Please. We have to take that chance. All right, you salty slobs. Tie their hands. But you said... Let me get away with you, sir. The captain's crew blame you. Wait a minute. That's likely, Doctor. The captain's crew is locked up good and tight. Plan it off, haven't you? That's why I'm the leader. <laughs> Look at him. He's got it. Tie their hands. Aye. Let's get this little worm, too. No. Leave him be.
this map? He's come back? And you're a pirate? I'm not, man. And besides, Flint is dead. He was killed trying to get the map back from Captain Bones. So it's Bones what's here? No, he's dead too. He is? What's all this got to do with you? Well, before Captain Bones died, he gave me this map. He said it was meant to be written. So my friends and I sailed here to find the treasure. We took some men along as crew. They turned out to be pirates. Flint's old crew? Yes, ma'am. Long John Silver is their leader. I see. My friends were being held prisoner. They managed to escape. So them scoundrels came back to the island? You know them. I know them, all right. I used to be one of them. A pirate? Yes. And one day Flint himself came to this island. He took six of us ashore to help him bury his treasure. But once we were done, he took his pistol and shot all six of us. But why? So we never lived to tell where the treasure was buried. But I was only wounded and played like I was dead. I mean, you've been on this island all alone? Aye, and for more years than I can remember. Pirates, I hate them all. Same as you do. But I aim to get them that come here. So you'll help me save my friends? Well, I don't know. Please, ma'am. On one condition, that I get safe passage back to England. You will. All right, I'll help you. Do you have any idea how we can save your friends? Yes, and I'll need your help. You already have a pen? Of course I do, and it's sure as a pip. Follow me back to my village and I'll tell you all about the plan. Well, we have something to eat. Ha! Them scoundrels are sure in for a big surprise. You make it out for your life? <coughs> Don't worry yourself, miss. I do believe you shall. They may be a ruthless game, but they're not as clever as they seem. Oh, I'm not so worried about myself. I'm part of the life. I feel for the children. We should have never put them on this forsaken voyage. Or poor Jim, out there, all alone, running away from those bloodthirsty pirates. Jim is a very smart and soulful little man. I have no doubt he will be able to keep himself safe. Rest yourself now, because you only just went late. Dr. Lives and I have been calling his plan. And when the time is right, we are going to take the guard by surprise. And when that time comes, you and Roy will be ready to run. Run? Where are we going to run when on an island there is no escape? There is a way to escape. The pirates run into the jungle, away from the beach, and the boats. We are going to make for the boat. Dr. Lives and I are certain that if we can get back to the Hispaniola and free the rest of the crew, then we can retake the ship. Then, when Sylvan is going to come back to the beach, we will get within cannon range and blast them to kingdom come. It sounds dangerous. Do you think it's possible? And what about Jim? They could be after him, and he could get hurt, or even... Yes, yes, there is danger involved. But we must think positive and believe we will succeed. I have every faith Jim will keep himself from getting captured. When Sylvan is going to have been defeated, we will go back to the island, find the treasure, and Jim, and then get out of here. I do hope you're right, Captain. Quick, they're coming! Pretend you're sleeping! O'Brien! O'Brien! Who? Who goes? Oh, it's you. Andre Gervana Sleep! You boss of that boy came back on a tireless friend's day. Well, you did it. Aye, but that's nowhere to be found. Disappeared? Now what, Long John? Give me time to think. Better think fast, or maybe we'll be dipping you the black spot. Silence! Long John! Silver! What? What was that? Oh, well, answer him! Who? Well, who goes there? Jim Hawkins! It's that blooming kid! Let's rush him! Ah! <laughs> Jim, come out! Why not harm you? We just want to talk. On one condition, we'll make a bargain. What's that? I'll let, I'll take you where the treasure's buried. If you let my friends go free. It's a trick. He's lying. Maybe he ain't. We have to chance it. Jim, don't do it. Hold your tongue or I'll cut it off. Oh, good oh. gracious. <laughs> cut him loose. Hurry. Off with ye. Where's the boy? He ain't now. It's a trick. Mr. Silver. Well, now. Give that man here, boy. I'll take you to where the treasure's buried. It's on Spyglass Mountain, just north of here. 
glory be to me, boy. You're a smart lad. You hear that, you louts? Aye, we ain't dead. What are we waiting for? First we go down to the longos to grab the picks and shovels. Then it's off to dig for treasure. Aye. Thank you. 
Keith are here. In one minute, you won't be. And the lad will keep you company. Not one of you touches the boy, do you hear? Not one of you, or I'll have your heads. I will. Ah! Kill us if you wish, Red Dog. But you'll never win out. There's a curse on this treasure. Or didn't you know? Curse? Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs>
that why you came here in the first place? Yes, it is. Now lead the way, Miss Bell, so we can earn this treasure on the point of the wall. What are you doing? I'm leaving, boy. Why? We said we'd vouch for you. You don't have to worry about the gallows. Life in prison is just as bad as facing the gallows. I'm a man of the sea, Jim. Men like me need to breathe the salt air and feel the spray of the ocean on our faces. Chasing adventure on the high sea. That's the only type of life for me. Dr. Lively said you needed to be charged for your crime. Dr. Lively and Captain Smollett are men of rules and laws. They don't understand how people like myself live. You can't do this long, John. You just can't. Just turn, Jim. Turn around. Leave. Pretend you never saw me. It's for the best. I miss you. And I you, lad. And I you. <laughs>